Here is an excellent example to review some of the concepts which we have learned in trigonometry. The question is, three circles of radii 2, 3 and 4 cm are mutually tangent as shown in the figure. So these are the three circles and their radius is 2, 3 and 4. Find the area enclosed between the three circles. That means the area, the vacant space in between. So this is the area which we need to find. So that is the question. How are you going to do it? Think about it. Well, what we can do is, let's mark the centers and join. What do we get? We get a triangle. Do you see that? We get a triangle. Let's label this triangle. Let us say we have a triangle here, which is triangle A, B and C. Now this triangle can help us to find area of the space enclosed. We can find the area of the triangle and then take away area of the sectors. You get it. If we take away area of these sectors from the area of the triangle, we get the enclosed space area. That's how we are going to do it. Wow. So we have a triangle now, but what are the sides of the triangle? Sides we can get by combining the two radius, right? 4 plus 3 is 7, so this side is 7 for us. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So triangle, scalene triangle, all sides are different. Area of triangle is equal to square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times s minus c square root. Now do you remember what is s? Yes it is. It is semi perimeter. Now in this case the sides are 5, 6 and 7. Let me straight away write down the semi perimeter. So it is 5 plus 6 plus 7 divided by 2 which is 5 plus 6 11 plus 7 18 divided by 2 gives us 9. Now since we know the semi perimeter and the sides, we can find area of our scalene triangle. So we get 9 for s, 9 minus 5, 6, 7. These are the sides, right? It's a very interesting triangle, and we have explored this triangle in details also, correct? That will also help you to get the answer. Anyway, so we have now the triangle which is of sides 5, 6, and 7, and the area is. 9 times, we can simplify this and we can write this as 9 times, 9 minus 5 is 4, 6 we get 3 and then 2 and that gives us a value, let's use the calculator to find the value and write as 14.69 or let me round to 14.7, right? So I'll highlight this since that is the area of our triangle ABC and we are just going to use it. Now let's find the area of sectors. How are you going to find the area of sectors? For that, we need to first find the angles, right? First we need to find the angles. How will you find angles? We know the sides. Well, if you know the sides, then you know, you have to use the cosine law. So let's use cosine law and find the angles now. Okay, so angle A is equals to cos inverse of you remember the way? A. These two side squares will be added and take away 5. So it is 6 square plus 7 square minus 5 square divided by 2 times 6 times 7. So that gives us angle A. Second function cos inverse 2 brackets 6 square plus 7 square minus 5 square bracket close divided by bracket 2 times 6 times 7 bracket 2 brackets close right is equal to 44.41 so we can write 44.4 so let's do all the values to one decimal place angle b for us will be cos inverse of b right so 7 square plus 5 square 
minus 6 squared divided by 2 times 7 times 5 correct that should be approximately second function cos inverse 2 brackets 7 square plus 5 square minus 6 square bracket close divided by bracket open 2 times 7 times 5 bracket close gives us the value 57.12 or 57.1 so these are the degrees angles in degrees for a and b right some of you can find the angles in radians and use another formula right but we'll do it in degrees now what is angle c you can use cosine law or properties of triangle right so we are finding angle c now angle c can be 180 degrees minus angle a minus angle b right so that is better so let us write down it is 180 degrees minus 44.4 take away 57.1 so that is 180 minus 44.4 take away 57.1 it gives us a value of 78.5 so we got the angles. Once we have the angles, we can find the area of the sectors. Do you know how? Do it. So area of sector is what? Area of sector. I know some of you really don't remember this, so I'm kind of writing the formula for you. So we can find the area of sector by finding area of the circle itself, which is pi r square times theta let's say the angle is theta for us divided by 360 degrees right so that is how you can find area of the sector right so we will use this formula to find area of the sectors all the three sectors one by one so for the first circle which is of radius 4 let us say area of the sector we'll write sa for it should be equals to pi times radius is 4 square and angle a 44.4 right divided by 360 degrees that gives us a value pi times 4 square times 44.4 divided by 360 gives us 6.19 so we can write this as 6.2 now sector b area is how much pi times b radius is 3 so write 3 square and the angle is 57.1 divided by 360 that gives us pi times 9 times 57.1 divided by 360 equals to 4.48 let me write 4.5 and for sector C it is of radius 2 so we can write this as pi times 2 square and the angle for C is 78.5 divided by 360 and that gives us pi times 4 times 78.5 divided by 360 equals to 2.74 so we'll write 2.7 for this right so we got area of the sectors now we can find the area of enclosed space correct so the area of enclosed space is how much so we write area of space is equals to area of the triangle take away combined area correct so it is 14.7 take away 6.2 plus 4.5 plus 2.7 right that gives us 1.3 so we get our area as 1.3 and the units are centimeter square correct so that is how you can find area of the enclosed space i hope you appreciate this question we learned a lot first the strategy how to find the area of the space so that triangle helped us and then heron's formula cosine law area of the sector all came together to get a solution thank you I hope you appreciate it. Thanks.